with Ayana Marilia Hirano, who's with us remotely, will be in charge of this presentation. Marilia, thank you for sharing with us. Thank you. Good. Oh, uh, I will start. I uh, will share my screen. One moment. Good. I think now you can see my screen. So, hello everyone. Thank you for inviting Ayana to participate in this wonderful event. Today, I will talk a bit about our focus areas for the next five years and share a couple of key initiatives that are relevant to the community groups from the LAC region, especially the community groups that are participating at LACNIC this week. So just to set the stage, let's briefly reflect on what IANA does. IANA is responsible for coordinating key elements that keep the internet running smoothly, including the allocation of IP addresses, the management of the DNS root zone, and the administration of protocol parameters. This is critical not just globally, but also for the specific needs of Latin America. And I'll cite just a couple of examples. First, the region, we all know we're catching up uh, in IPv6 adoption. And IANA works very closely with LACNIC in IP address allocation. And this process is key to ensuring that the region does not face shortages or operational issues as IPv4 resources become increasingly scarce. Additionally, DNSSEC is vital for enhancing security and trust in the region's internet infrastructure. And our management of the DNS root zone, which includes supporting the deployment of DNSSEC, ensures that the main name resolution is secure. By supporting these processes and technologies, along with our partners from the regional internet registries, the registry operators, our trusted community representatives, and the ITF, we contribute to the region's digital resilience and growth. So as we conclude our first ever dedicated strategic plan period, it's important to reflect on the progress we've made towards our objectives. We've accomplished so much in the past five years, but the world has significantly changed since we set our vision for 2025. The COVID-19 uh, pandemic, combined with uh, lots of geopolitical challenges we've been facing, reshaped how we interact we consume technologies, and crucially, how we perceive IANA's critical role in this evolving landscape. Our board and staff evaluated how these trends could impact our work. So looking forward to 2030, our focus will be on three key areas. The first being innovation, where our main goal is to make sure that we enhance our agility and reduce time to market for new features. So this is system enhancements, all of the systems that we use to deliver the IANA functions. We want to be able to adapt quickly to the technology, technological advancements and evolving customer needs. The second focus area is operational excellence. And they, this is our focus on our people and our processes. We want to make sure that everything is streamlined and we continue to follow continuous improvement best practices. The third, but certainly not least, is community engagement. Uh, here, our main objective is to maintain our relationships with community leaders, but also improve our communication strategies targeted and non-traditional stakeholders. We want to increase awareness of the critical role that IANA plays in the internet infrastructure. So what are some key initiatives that we're going to work on that is relevant to this, uh, to the audience that is here today? The first one uh, that has been obvious for quite some time is that our IANA website, IANA.org, needs some attention. 
It's somewhat of a relic of an earlier era of the internet. The website grew into a pile of information that is poorly organized and hard to navigate, quite frankly. As we innovate other systems and develop new platforms that we'll need to integrate with IANA.org, we also need to prioritize bringing our website to this era. So by early 2025, we plan to deliver an updated and modern look to the website, while also making quality of life improvements, such as accessible site-wide search and the ability to search and filter data within registries. Then we will focus on improving the mobile experience, continue to enhance the root zone database and the protocol parameter section because we want to ensure applicants have a better experience when using IANA.org. Next, we'll talk about uh, the DNS trust anchor. The security of the DNS relies on a hierarchical system of public key cryptography that aligns with the hierarchical structure of the DNS itself. At the core of this system is the APAX key known as the root zone key signing key, KSK is how we call it uh, for abbreviation. This key serves as the singular trust anchor for the entire system and IANA manages the KSK with a high degree of transparency. We use public key signing ceremonies and an open design model that ensures the integrity and trustworthiness of the DNS. The first key rollover for the root zone key signing key, it took place in 2018. And this is where we change, uh, we change the, we replace one key with another. Preparations are underway for the second key rollover and that's the main point that I wanted to bring here today. Uh, this process will follow a three-year cadence, aiming to establish a predictable routine for KSK rollovers. By propagating the key early, a large window of time is available, allowing for a rapid rollover in an if an emergency arises. This proactive approach helps ensure the security and stability of the DNS infrastructure. So, are you ready for the next key rollover? Uh, the new trust anchor is now available for propagation in XML file. Uh, most users will adopt it naturally through software updates, but for operators doing manual configurations, especially if there's a customization uh, during software updates, then there will some actions will be needed. But for the most part, you just need to accept the defaults um, the software manufacturers will give you. Will, it will appear in the DNS itself starting January 11th, 2025. Uh, so we have some information on the next key rollover and processes you would need to follow if you have uh, the need to. Uh, it's, you have to visit IANA.org, uh, DNSSEC slash files. And if you wanna be kept up to date and join the discussions on the next key rollover, sign up for the KSK rollover mailing list you will stay updated on the project. So the, the flag date here is October 2026 for the next rollover of the key. As I mentioned in the beginning, the five-year strategic plan is based on these the key, uh, three key drivers. I talked about one initiative that aligns with innovation through our website and one that aligns with operational excellence the last and certainly not least is to focus on community engagement. We will spend more time building awareness and educating non-traditional stakeholders, especially those in underrepresented regions, about the importance and criticality of IANA. We're also asking for feedback through our annual engagement survey. So if you uh, have thoughts on how we can help uh, and better engage with your regional community group, Please give us this feedback. The QR code is there. It's two questions that you would help that would really help us continue to evolve on our strategy and make sure that we're aligned and we're working on priorities that will help all of us. And then the last call to action that I have here for the group, uh, based on what I talked about, there are, there's a lot more initiatives that will be in the plans. Uh, the strategic plan for IANA will be out for public comment from November through January. Uh, the, so please participate if you're interested in our work, if you want to make sure that we're focusing on priorities for your regional groups, uh, 
please make sure that, that you participate in that public comment period. And also for our fiscal year 26 operating plan and budget, uh, this is uh, a plan that we're working with alongside ICANN, and that will be out for public comment in January of 2025. Uh, so we really count on your participation during these two uh, public comment periods. And I believe that is my last uh, slide here. If you have any questions, uh, if you want to uh, send a comment to me directly, my email is here on the screen. And I think, who do I hand it off to? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Bueno, ahora sí, entonces, los invitamos. So now we invite you to lunch. Lunch will be held in the lobby of the Hotel Bourbon, as was the case yesterday, until 2 p.m., 1800 UTC. See you this afternoon. Thank you very much.